Hello everyone and welcome back to the Edureka YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss the web developer roadmap. If you are starting your web development journey, you might wonder where to start. With so many languages, tools and technologies available, it's easy to feel lost. So that is why you need a roadmap. But before we get into the details, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka. Also, check out the Edureka's website for our training and certification courses. The link is given in the description box below. Now, let's outline what we will cover in this video. First, we will understand the current market demands for the web developers to give you a sense of the opportunities available. Next, we will discuss the roles and responsibilities of a web developer to set clear expectations for your career path. We will then explore the front-end development roadmap, including the essential tools and technologies available. Following that, we will cover the back-end development roadmap, including the key skills, databases, and API development. Finally, we will examine the salary expectation based on your skill set and locations. Before wrapping up with this video, we will also explore the importance of certification in enhancing your career prospects. Now, let's start by looking at the current market demand for web developers. In India, the IT industry is booming with web development leading the way. So currently, there are over 1.5 million web developers in India, and this number is growing by 20% annually. According to the recent data available on LinkedIn, there are over 10,000 job openings for front-end developers, over 21,000 for back-end developers, and over 15,000 for full-stack developers. And it's not just in India, the demand is strong globally as well. In the USA, according to the data available on Indeed, there are over 1,800 jobs for front-end developers, over 1,900 jobs for back-end developers and over 3,000 jobs for full-stack developers. Now is the perfect time to start your learning journey and get a job as a front-end, back-end or full-stack developer. Now that we have discussed the market demand, let's examine what web developers actually do. So the primary roles and responsibility of a web developer includes website designing, website performance, website maintenance and collaboration with designers. Now, let's look at the website design process. So, the web designing process begins with requirement gathering, which means web developers collect the requirements from the stakeholders, including the feature and design preferences. After gathering requirements, developers create SRS documents and proceed to develop prototypes of the projects based on those requirements. And after developing a prototype, developers move on to the final step, which is developing a project. And the next responsibility of a web developer is to ensure the website performance. Let's see some practices that web developers does to ensure the performance of the website. First, optimize image size. So web developers ensures that images are properly sized and optimized for the web so they load quickly without affecting the website quality. Next, browser caching. Developers set up caching so that when user revisits the website, it loads quickly. The last one is test on different devices. So web developers test the website on various devices and browsers to make sure it performs well on each device. The next responsibility that web developers have is a website maintenance. So let's see some basic steps performed by web developers for website maintenance. First, updating content. So web developers keep the website content fresh by regularly updating text, images, and other elements to ensure the site remains relevant and engaging. Next is the website backup. Developers regularly make backups to protect the website data, so if something goes wrong, they can restore the site to a previous state. And the last one is security updates. So developers install updates for any software or plugins used on the site to protect it from security threats. And the next responsibility of web developers is to collaborate with designers. So now, let's see a few basic reasons for their collaboration. First, share design prototypes. Developers review and discuss design mockups or prototypes provided by designers to understand the visual and functional aspect of the website. Next is discuss layout and structure. So developers collaborate on how the design will be translated into functional website. The last one is ensure design consistency. Developers work with designers to ensure that design elements like fonts, colors, and spacing are consistent across different pages and devices. Before starting with our roadmap, let's examine the job description of a web developer associate. So, this is the job description for the web developer's designation in Accenture. 
This job description is for entry level web developer. So, the company requirements include HTML5, which is the latest version of HTML and JavaScript. In this role, you need to solve routine problems, so you need to have a good understanding of these skills. So, let us now move forward and learn what skills we need to master to become eligible candidates for such roles. First, we will start the front end development roadmap. The skills that we will cover in the front end development roadmap are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and front end frameworks. Now, let's take an overview of HTML. HTML stands for the Hypertext Markup Language. That means it is not a programming language but a markup language. A markup language is used to present the content on the web page, while a programming language is used to write instructions for the computer. HTML is a static language and it doesn't change dynamically. All the data and information remain static in nature and they stay the same unless someone manually changes them. HTML structures web content, which means it organizes content on a web page by specifying aspects such as headings, paragraphs, and links. HTML also manages the layout of text, media, and images, like for example, the placement of pictures and video elements. Now, let's have a look at how HTML works. So now we are using the Visual Studio Code Editor. So first, let us create an HTML file. So let us name something as first.html. And now in this file, I'll first create an HTML tag because anything that you are going to write inside the HTML document will be inside the HTML tag. So now inside the HTML tag, I will create a heading using the H tag. And then a paragraph using the P tag. So let's write something inside it. And now it's time to run our code. So as you can see on the screen, the code inside the HTML tag is displayed on the web page. So what I'm trying to say here is that tags are necessary in HTML for every specific purpose. So you can also say HTML is a website skeleton and it provides the website structure but doesn't add any styling to make it attractive. Now, to provide style to the website, we need to move on to the CSS. So CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. It's what makes your website look stylish by handling colors, fonts, and layouts. So CSS ensures consistent styling. That means if there is any change in the style at one place, it gets updated everywhere. Next is Responsive Design. CSS helps your website look great on any devices from phones to desktop. And with Responsive Design, your layout adapts to different screen sizes. Next is Improves Performance. CSS improves performance by separating style from content, making your pages load faster and run more smoothly. Now, let us have a look at what is the contribution of CSS to any website. I have created one project using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So here is the project that I have created, and this is a CSS file attached to this page. Now, I will run this, and let's look at the output. So here, you can see that everything is in proper shape and size. The navigation bar is functional, and the functionality like the hover effects has been added to the items. So all of this is done using CSS. Now, let's go through the code again. And what I'll do here is I will unlink the CSS file from this page. So here, I have unlinked the file. Now let's look at the output. And here, you can see the navigation is not at all in its place and the image doesn't have any structure or size. So this page without styling just looks like a skeleton of the website. So now it is clear how and why CSS is important for the website development process. Having covered HTML and CSS, we now move on to the JavaScript. So let's have an overview of JavaScript. A few basic features of JavaScript includes interactivity. So JavaScript makes the website interactive. It allows users to click, fill out forms, and engage with the website content. Next is dynamic content. JavaScript allows real-time updates in content without reloading the page, which keeps the website fresh and responsive. Next, we have client-side processing. JavaScript runs in the user's browser, speeding up tasks like form validation and interactions without constant server requests. And the last one is it improves UX. So JavaScript enhances user experience with features like animations and real-time updates, 
which makes the website more engaging and enjoyable. Now, let's quickly see how JavaScript works. So again, I will take you to my website and through the website, we will understand the basic functions of JavaScript, which is validation. So here I am on my register page, which has the three section, the username, email and password. So let's say I have entered my username and password. But without entering my email and if I hit the register button, so you can see that I'm getting the pop up that says, please fill out this field. Now, this is because JavaScript form validation has been applied to this form. So after you hit the register button, JavaScript will validate the form you have filled out in every required section and only allow you to register. So this is the basic function of JavaScript. So we create and add many functions to our applications to make them responsive and attractive. Now, let me enter the email and let's see the output. So as you can see on the screen, you will receive a message saying your registration was successful. So again, this is another function on JavaScript called the alert function that we have added to our website. So I hope you now have an idea of what JavaScript is and how it can make your website interactive and responsive. Now, having covered HTML, CSS and JavaScript, we will move on to the front-end frameworks and libraries. Front-end frameworks provide pre-built components that make it easier to create complex user interfaces. So let's have a look at some trending frameworks now. First is React. Meta developed React in 2013 and is a powerful library that's been adapted by major companies like Facebook and Instagram. So next is Angular. Google created Angular in 2010 and it's another framework trusted by big names such as PayPal and Samsung for building dynamic web applications. Then we have Vue, which Ivan Yu introduced in 2014 and has been adapted by big companies like Microsoft and Apple. There are so many front-end frameworks in the market, but you cannot start learning every framework at a time. To make it easy for you, I have done some research about the most used frameworks. Here is the data from Stack Overflow and it represents the most used frameworks currently. Here, you can check that React.js is leading its way and as I mentioned before, React.js is also used by well-known companies like Facebook and Instagram. So this concludes our learning of front-end development. Now, let's move to the backend development roadmap. In the backend development roadmap, you will start your learning with server side languages such as JavaScript, Node.js, Python, or PHP. So, these languages are essential for handling business logic, processing data, and managing server operations. Now, here I would like to add a point. So, so many people think Node.js is a programming language. Actually, it is neither a programming language nor a framework. Node.js is a runtime environment for JavaScript, so in simple language, Node.js helps JavaScript run on the server side. So, once you have a good knowledge of server side languages, the next step is to learn about backend frameworks. Backend frameworks like ExpressJS for Node.js, Django for Python, and Ruby on Rails for Ruby will streamline your development process and help you build applications efficiently in less time. After you are comfortable with backend languages and frameworks, you will move on to the databases. Databases store, retrieve, and manage the data of any web applications. Now, databases are of two types, relational and non-relational databases. In relational databases, having a good understanding of MySQL would be helpful. In non-relational databases, start with MongoDB and then move on to PostgreSQL. Alongside these core skills of backend development, you also need to understand APIs. APIs allow software to communicate with each other and API development is key to connecting your front-end with back-end. After API, mastering version control are also essential for web developers. So for example, Git helps you manage changes in your code, while GitHub allows you to collaborate with others and store your code online. Now, let's take a look at the salary explanation of web developers. The data that I'm going to discuss here has been taken from Glassdoor and Payscale. So as a web developer in India at the entry level with zero to two years of experience, you can expect to earn between five to seven lakhs per year. And as you gain more experience, let's say two to seven years and become a mid-level professional, your salary can increase to seven to 15 lakhs annually. So for those with over seven years of experience, 
expert level roles can offer anywhere from 15 lakhs to 25 lakhs or more per year. And in the USA, entry level web developers can earn around $85,000 per year. Mid level professionals with 2 to 7 years of experience can commence salary of around $120,000 annually. In comparison, senior level developers with over 7 years of experience can earn $150,000 or even more per year. Now that we have explored the potential career paths with the salaries. So now let's talk about how you can get there and one of the best ways to fast track your journey is through a recognized certification. And that's where Edureka comes in. Now let's explore the certifications one by one. Edureka's HTML certification training focuses on teaching the fundamentals of HTML, covering how to structure web pages, create headings, paragraphs, list, links and manage media like images and videos. It's perfect for beginners looking to build a strong foundation in web development. Next, Edureka's CSS certification training will teach you the essential of CSS, including how to style web pages, control layouts and apply colors, fonts and animations. It's ideal for beginners aiming to enhance the visual design and responsiveness of their websites. Next, we have a JavaScript certification training course. Edureka's JavaScript certification training will teach you the core concept of JavaScript, including syntax, DOM manipulation, event handling, and the basic programming logic. It's perfect for beginners looking to add interactivity and dynamic functionality to their websites. And then we have Edureka's React.js certification training, which will teach you the fundamentals of React, including component-based architecture, state management, JSX, and handling events. It also provides live instructor-led classes, making it ideal for developers looking to build dynamic, high-performance web applications with real-time guidance. Following to this, we have Edureka's Angular Certification Training, which will teach you the fundamentals of Angular, including components, directives, services, and routing. It also provides live instructor-led classes, making it ideal for developers looking to build robust, single-page web applications with expert guidance. Next, Edureka's Web Developers Master's Program is a comprehensive structured learning path designed to equip you with the skills needed to become a full-stack web developer. The program covers key technologies such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, Angular, Node.js, Express.js, and MongoDB. It also includes training in version control with Git, front-end frameworks, and back-end development. The program offers hands-on projects and real-time guidance to ensure a deep understanding of web development from front-end and back-end perspectives, making it ideal for career growth. Also, Edureka's full-stack developer course is designed to provide comprehensive training in both front-end and back-end development. The course covers essential technologies such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Node.js, Express.js, MongoDB, and React. With a focus on building dynamic, high-performance web application, it includes hands-on project and real-world scenarios to enhance practical skills. The program features live instructor-led classes allowing students to interact directly with the experts and receive immediate support. This course is ideal for aspiring developers looking to master the full-stack web development and advance their careers. Well, this concludes our full-stack developer roadmap. And in this video, we explored all the tools and technologies needed to become a full-stack developer, the salary you can expect to earn as a web developer and some certifications that can boost your resume. So, if you enjoyed listening to this video, Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Do look up for more videos and playlists and subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. And happy learning!